So I'm about to go on a 10 day trip to Mexico and I know sometimes packing can be a little rough and I've definitely over prepared and had multiple suitcases but this time for 10 days I am taking just this backpack full of stuff. So I thought I could show you exactly what I'm packing for 10 days of travel, trying to be very minimalist and only bring stuff that I'm gonna need and not all the just in case stuff that I normally bring because I don't wanna be just bagged down with baggage, but I can speak in rhymes apparently. Well, if you just say bag twice, that's not a rhyme, you're just repeating yourself. Anyways, this backpack somebody sent me like a year ago, it's a boundary backpack. Uh, I think it's very nice, I use it like every day. It's probably not the absolute best thing for travel, um, just because it like doesn't have the the like the zip and the fold in half thing that a lot of people have um, But it works good for me, and I'm definitely not gonna buy one just to travel So I went ahead and I unzipped the bottom part to give me a little extra room Probably if you're not gonna bring a camera like I'm bringing uh, you'd be fine with just like a normal size backpack Because everything else fit into the other part first things first I'm the realist. So the first things first, I just made a list a couple days before about everything I thought I would need. That way when things just randomly pop into your head, I could add it to the list so I wouldn't forget it later. So since I'm gonna be doing a couple videos down there and I'm gonna be kind of like a working trip, I'm bringing my camera, my laptop. So it's my Sony a7 III with a lens, a couple extra batteries, a charger for my laptop, my laptop, the Rode microphone, and the Zoom H1N, and a Joby tripod. That's pretty much everything I'm gonna be bringing uh, gear wise is pretty simple and straightforward and just making sure that I'm not bringing anything extra that I'm not absolutely going to use. I'm also going to be bringing uh, a book to read because I read every night before bed uh, it really helps me sleep and then also I'm gonna have a lot of time in like the airport and uh, on the plane and stuff like that so having a physical book I think will be a good distraction and I don't really like ebooks so somebody else might want to do that but I don't like those so I actually wanted to finish this video here I'm about a week into the trip and kind of give you exactly what I brought and what I would have done a little bit differently now that I'm actually here um, so yeah so this is everything that I brought in my backpack one pair of black jeans that kind of just go with everything three pairs of shorts to just kind of wear all the time Six pairs of cut shirts. They're actually a sponsor of mine. Uh, I wear them all the time just because they go with everything. So I really like to travel with these because they just kind of like make everything look uh, relatively decent. They fit really well for someone like me. Um, I have a long torso, so it's hard to find like stuff that's long enough for me. And they have elongated, which I love. They're a little bit more expensive, but I really love them because if I just wear black pants, I can wear any color shirt with them and they all look good and they're a little bit different. So uh, those are fun. And they just released their spring collection. If you guys want to check that out, you can use my link down in the description. I also brought two tank tops and a quick dry shirt. And then I brought pretty much all of the socks and underwear that I have. Before we go on to the other stuff, uh, luckily we did have access to a washer dryer here. So I was able to wash uh, some stuff again. The main thing that I ran out of was socks. I just didn't pack enough because I was running and, and working out and playing soccer and stuff like that. So I went through um, them a little bit quicker. So I probably should have just brought sandals. Honestly, that would have been a lot easier. Um, but I would have brought extra couple of pairs of socks, but we were able to wash them. So it's fine. I probably would have brought in about two more uh, t-shirts as well because of that same thing. We did go through a couple in one day um, due to some sports playing, which is also how I injured my ankle. And then of course, toothbrush, toothpaste, um, little things to shampoo and conditioner and that type of stuff. Uh, nothing really crazy. And then the plane. Uh, I was very particular with what I wore on the plane so that I could get as much stuff down there and only the stuff I really needed down here to Mexico. So on the plane, I wore another t-shirt and a pair of black jeans. And then I wore a hoodie since I didn't have any long sleeve shirts so that when it's cold in the morning or at night or whatever, uh, I'll be fine. And then of course, a baseball cap to help fight off the sun because I'm gonna be out a little bit. And then something that I think is super, super important is my headphones. These are actually Wise headphones. They're not a sponsor or anything, but they're like, dude, they're like 60 bucks and they're wicked good headphones. They're like, I've had uh, Beats headphones before and these are pretty comparable to those noise canceling. Really good for a plane trip. I listened to them for like 12 hours on the way down and they still had 30% um, battery. So I really liked these. I think it's a really good thing to have when you're traveling or when you're down here or whatever. So 
pair of headphones. And then of course, a cheap pair of sunglasses. I just got these for like 11 bucks on Amazon because uh, I tend to lose them or break them a lot. So I just prefer to have something that I don't, I don't really care if I lose it, you know? Because I am a true minimalist, I bought a uh, AeroPress coffee maker so I can make sure that I am having good coffee. It's just my routine in the morning. I like to have that. So I brought that really small, doesn't really take up much room. And then I always know that I can have good coffee and I don't have to worry about if there's a coffee maker or whatever, which there is one, but I use this. So let me know what your essentials are. When you travel, there's probably some things that maybe I didn't bring. I'm not an expert at this, uh, but this is what I brought. Minus those few little snafus, it works out really good. Uh, so don't forget to like and subscribe if you got some value out of this and I'll see you next week.